Well, it was 100 years ago today that Albert Einstein presented his final version of the general theory of relativity. Joining us now to mark this historic occasion is Professor Hanoch Gutfreund. Professor Gutfreund is a professor of physics. He's the former president of Hebrew University, and he's the academic director of the Albert Einstein Archives. Professor Gutfreund, welcome. Uh, hey. Why is Albert Einstein such an important historical figure? Well, Albert Einstein uh, is probably the greatest scientist that has ever lived. Uh, Time magazine, uh, the beginning of this um, century, uh, selected him as the man of the century. And uh, he, he is responsible, the author, of uh, great revolutions in physics. In 1905, to a year to which we all refer as his miraculous year, he published several articles, several articles, which has which have completely changed our understanding of the physical world, which became the pillars of modern physics, and the technological consequences of which are used in our daily life and have changed not only our understanding of the universe, but also our daily life. And ten years later, ten years later, he produced yet another revolutionary um, achievement. This is his general theory of relativity, which has completely modified the understanding, the classical physics understanding of space, time, and gravity, and its consequences are immense. What role did Albert Einstein's Judaism play in his contributions to science? As an adult, he started to develop a very strong Jewish identity, a very strong Jewish identity that is not based on religion, uh, but is based on some cultural affinity to the cultural, moral heritage of the Jewish people as he understood it. And that identity uh, intensified with time, and outside of physics, it was the strongest commitment. Now, whether there is a causal connection between the two, that I cannot tell. Could you imagine what our lives would be like if Einstein never lived? In 1907, he launched this scientific odyssey to generalize the special theory of relativity. And he finally succeeded eight years later after a bumpy road of wrong paths, misinterpretation, difficulties. And once he has completed that, it was immediately clear that there are far-reaching consequences of this theory. And all the present cosmology, the research, our understanding of the universe, has its roots in that theory. And what is equally important, but maybe more appreciated by the general public, is that one of the results of general theory of relativity is a very essential element in GPS technology. We would not have GPS technology if we would not know, as Einstein predicted precisely, how the pace of time depends on the strength of the gravitational field, how clocks on Earth are delayed with respect to clocks in satellites. Professor, thank you very much for joining the Jerusalem Post.